other signs of stroke that do not meet the criteria of the FAST or BFAST acronym and may be leading to misdiagnosis at hospital ERs. Now, if you're familiar with stroke, you may also be familiar with how stroke organizations around the world raise awareness in the community on how a layperson can spot somebody experiencing a stroke. The FAST campaign introduces the acronym FAST as an easy way to remember the signs of stroke in approximately 80% of strokes occurring in the general population. F equals face. Has the person's face changed in appearance? Has one of the sides of their face drooped or become asymmetrical? A stands for arm. Is the person experiencing problems with one or both of their arms? Can they lift both arms at the same height? Can they grip your hand evenly with both hands? S equals speech. Is the person having trouble speaking? Does the person have trouble understanding what you are saying? T equals time. If you suspect that a person may be having a stroke, it's time to act fast and call for help. Dialing emergency services phone number in your country and telling them that you think the person you are with is experiencing a stroke. These easy to remember acronyms have saved countless lives and have empowered bystanders and family members to make quick decisions and as a result, support improved recovery outcomes for the people they helped. The BFAST acronym added two more ways to spot the signs of stroke. B and E accounted for the people that have experienced a stroke but did not fit the FAST criteria. B equals balance. Is the person having trouble standing up? Are they experiencing dizziness? E is for eyes. Does the person have trouble seeing out of one or both eyes? Is one of their eyes facing a different position? Now combined, if the person is experiencing one or more of those symptoms, then there's a good chance they're having a stroke. And as good as the FAST and BFAST acronyms are at helping members of the public recognize the signs of stroke, my own experience with stroke was still different and this made me curious to see if others in the stroke community presented with different symptoms as well. So to satisfy my own curiosity, I asked for feedback from my more than 4,100 followers on Instagram to see if anyone experienced what I did or something totally different. I asked the following question. What are some of your stroke symptoms that did not meet the FAST criteria? 144 people responded, and this is how they answered, in order of frequency, with the most people responding, immobility, weakness, and numbness. Then dizziness, disorientation, and nausea. Headache, unconsciousness, sudden collapse and falling, vomiting, blurred, narrow vision or lost vision, ears ringing and hearing loss, pain on body parts, burning sensation of the skin, tingling sensation of the skin, some had no signs or symptoms, some experienced seizures or partial seizures, and one person answered they lost their appetite. Many of the people that responded reported the stroke was not suspected when they presented to hospital, and many were quickly sent away, sometimes with a prescription for headache or migraine medication only having to represent to hospital sometimes hours or several days later when the situation had become far more dire. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell to get notified of new episodes. If you are listening on iTunes, please give the show a five-star review. If you are listening on your favorite podcast app, please share and send the message out and let people know that there are other signs of stroke. Hopefully this will make a difference and educate some more of the community and perhaps 
some medical professionals that sometimes stroke doesn't present in the standard way, be it the FAST acronym or the BFAST acronym. Thank you for watching. I'm Bill from recoveryafterstroke.com.